Just the neighborhood, eh? Are you a member of this neighborhood? Sort of. Are you aware of what's going on in the little tent city there? Yeah. Yeah? And what do you feel about it? You don't mind Mr. me asking this question? Uh, may I ask who you are first? I'm just George. I'm a minister with the United Church of Canada. I live up in Aberdeen, and I've been getting to know this camp here, and just trying to figure out what these young people are up to, what they're asking about, and I'm curious what the neighbors are thinking. Well, um, I have mixed feelings. Okay. To be honest. Okay. Are you a uh, are you a businessman in the neighborhood? Or? No, I work over here at the, at the, at the credit union. At the credit union. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So, blue collar worker basically. So where's the conflict? Um, they seem to have, be a, uh, from my views, um, they seem to have a good representation of themselves, but not necessarily of the 99 they're, they're, they're trying to represent. Okay, yeah, yeah. They, um, I've, I've been trying to convince them. Yeah, so you've been talking with them? I have. Good for you, good for you. Uh, convince them that they need to have more fine goals, like their, their goals are trying to change government, trying to change this, trying to change yeah. that, but they don't really know how to change it. Okay. They don't really understand, they don't seem to have, um, get a real good grasp on the political process to actually affect change. Okay. They're just protesting stuff to do. You know, I'm a theologian, yeah. and my point is, for, for some of us, the whole system itself might be so compromised that we need some alternative approach. Oh, I agree. Okay. I do agree. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but the alternative approach isn't necessarily this. Okay. <laughs> so, so again, as a theologian, for me, this represents a symbolic action, which is being undertaken all over the earth. Yep. By a young group, a group of basically young people. Oh, I agree. And they're they're eager for something to be different. Yes. And something to be better. Yeah. And you agree with them on that? I agree with them on that. Ah, thank they're you. To, what they're doing is they're getting people talking. Yeah. It's domestic. And, and that's a, that's a good start. Yeah. But they need to get more involved. Yeah. No. Just doing this is something of a sign gets people talking. But we're doing this. You and I are doing yep. this independent of them. Yeah. Have you got anything that if you could say anything at all you wanted to say to the world, what would you say right now? We as a group are doing a neighborhood trash cleanup. Awesome. Part of the group is down there. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Good fortune, good day. Yeah. Yeah. All right. See you. See you. Bye. Hi. What up, buddy? How oh. Are you I'm just checking out. If you could say anything you wanted to say to the whole wide world right now, what would you say, Jason? I love you all. You're all brothers and sisters. Oh, you're looking very bright today and very familiar. Well, uh, we're doing a community cleanup. Awesome. Community cleanup day. So awesome. awesome. We encourage everybody to come down and join us. Awesome. And the aim to make the world a better, better. cleaner place. Great. I hear you got your porta potty. We got it back. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you very well much. Well done. Thank huh. you. I'm just gonna See, uh, how are you today? Mr. George. Hi. Uh, Mr. Gene. Gene. Hi, Mr. Gene. How are you? Good. Uh, thank you. Um, as I understand it, it started last December when a uh, Tunisian vendor set himself on fire and that's what sparked the Arab Spring and um, we've had the collapse in global economy since 2007 so um, it moved to uh, you know, uh, widespread protests that have been ongoing since 2008 in Greece um, and the 15th of this past May was the start of the Spanish Acampanadas which are these massive sit-ins that happen in Madrid and Barcelona, like these incredibly massive general strikes to protest the austerity measures that have been put in as the European Union faces its debt crisis. Um, and uh, I know for everyone growing up this past decade, uh, there's been a real sense of apathy, you know, and, uh, you know, hopelessness and whatever. And then Adbusters put out the call that it's about time that we take back Wall Street uh, because our nation, our species, and our planet is in grave crisis. So, you know, thousands of people massed in Wall Street September 17th, and everyone brings a different thing to the table, you know? You know, um, Antarctica, this is a totally global thing where essentially people across the world have decided that
for millions of different reasons, the system that we're operating under, whether that's our economic system, our environmental system, our social system, all of these systems are no longer working for us and we all have visions of a better way. And like we all come from different places and there's all sorts of different issues that we have, but what we've been doing is living communally, going out and taking public space, occupying various places, whether it's in New York and it's occupying actually Wall Street, the district of the heart of these of the banking system of America, of the world, or it's in Kamloops occupying Spirit Park, a park on the North Shore that we've claimed is our space, our home. And uh, I'd like to see um, more community-based living over monopoly-based housing. Mm -hmm. yeah. cool. I'd like to see a different way that people relate to each other in terms of realizing that we've all evolved through 13.6 billion years in order to create this moment. And this moment is that special that you need to make it the best one possible and acknowledge that that other person that you're, you're with is also a co-creator of the best moment possible. I'd like to see our brothers and sisters in Africa be able to take advantage of sustainable water systems because the privatization of water is causing thousands of people to die on a daily basis. I'd like to see water cost less than gasoline. I want to see I want to pay for water, like you live in Canada. Water, you know, we've always just had it, and it's, it's starting to get taken from us and sold, and we could end up in the same place, and I definitely don't think water should be something people need to pay for. I'd like to see greater environmental protection. I think more is being taken out of the earth than the people need, and it's wasteful in so many ways. In the same kind of area, I'd like to see a, a change in consumption. Um, I think we're taking all our resources and taking them for granted and they're disappearing. Um, when we talk about food, when we talk about plastics and all that kind of stuff, and uh, seeing a change also in um, uh, like uh, encouraging local businesses instead of buying an organic apple from New Zealand, mm -hmm. you know, buying a non-organic apple from uh, your neighbor is probably the best. I'd like to see just a general change in materialism itself, less materialism, more individualism. Yeah, I never want to see another billboard again. <laughs> well, we, we can organize direct action about such things. Because. <laughs> <laughs> the legal system, for where now, um, it seems that laws are now the morals. I think it should go back to where morals are the laws. Well said. I want to see a return of the commons. I don't want to see fences everywhere and people yelling at you to step off land. I'd like to see the world as one big country, like no borders. Come in and have his sit down, guys. There's one free seat here. I want to see our yeah, there's a seat here as well. responsive to the people that put them in power rather than under the dictate of corporate corporations and their greed and being strong-armed by international organizations that are accountable to nobody except themselves. Um, for students, for a more sustainable, more connected future, and we're going to, so someday in November, which hopefully we can decide on uh, relatively soon, um, we're going to take over regular class and then have a day on workshops and information and anything we're passionate about, anything we think will bring a greater well-being to ourselves or to the planet as a whole and that will help promote a sustainable future. Because I think I've been talking with a lot of people and a lot of people are feeling hopeless about our future and not really knowing where it's going and kind of feeling like there's nothing we can do. 
And the truth is, we all we all have a very important role in the outcome of our future. And I think, in terms of this materialistic world in which we're living in, it downgrades our own potential of creatives. Um, just one more uh, piece of advice that I observed from the next year occupation. We were doing a lot of things like uh, culture jamming, you know. So uh, I'll work over one with you. Uh, when I say mic check, you say mic check. And then People's you place. repeat, and it's like using the human mic, uh, megaphone. So, uh, mic check. Mic, mic check. check. Mic check. Mic, mic check. check. I believe. I believe. It's time. It's time. To end class. To end class. class. Yeah, like